Hello and welcome to another presentation of the Cruiser Chris World Network. I am Cruiser Chris. Today we will be doing our sixth part in the Johnny Blaisdell story. Um, so this is part six of the Johnny Blaisdell story. In the bathroom around the tub there was what appeared to be something black. The black substance around the tub appeared to be mold. There appeared to be um, black mold around the base of the tub and the floor was wet. The trash can, which was standing next to the toilet, was overflowing with trash and looked like it hadn't been emptied in weeks. Uh, the sink was filled with toothbrushes and there was also dried on toothpaste on the counter that looked like it had been sitting there for three weeks. Kendra uh, moved the trash can and looked behind the toilet and saw what appeared to be mouse droppings. The toilet itself didn't look like it would be usable. Kendra then walked out of the bathroom and walked back into Johnny's bedroom after Johnny and the kids were told by Kendra that they could go outside for a short period of time. The um, bed sheets that were on Johnny's bed appeared to have fresh stains on them and looked like they had not been changed in weeks. This was very concerning to Kendra because she felt responsible because um, there were no parents there. Both the mom and the dad had left the boys alone to fend for themselves and have Kendra be responsible for them when they went out and to um, party. Uh, Kendra felt responsible and felt very emotional about this. Um, so she looked to Tracy for guidance and Tracy was very had a very concerned look on her face this was this report was one of the most disturbing reports that Tracy had ever seen in her 15 years of working at Cruiser Chris Home Health Care, LLC. So Tracy got up and left the room and went to go get one of the program directors at Cruiser Chris Home Health Care named Katie. Uh, a short time later, Katie returned with Tracy to the room while Kendra was still sitting in the room. And Katie told Kendra what a fantastic job she was doing and how grateful that Cruiser Chris Home Health Care was to have her as a PCA with the agency. Katie then 
proceeded and said, Kendra, I have a very important question for you. Do you want to continue working with Johnny with the current conditions that are in the home? Kendra thought about this for a moment and said with no hesitation that yes, she would like to continue working with Johnny. Katie then responded about how once again she was very grateful to have someone like Kendra working for Cruiser Chris Home Health Care and that they would have this report on file and that they would be monitoring this situation. The meeting then concluded and Kendra and Tracy stood up and began walking towards the lobby. Kendra said a few final closing remarks to Tracy. Tracy told Kendra that she would set up a time for the next time that Kendra was supposed to work to have a face-to-face -face meeting or a supervisory visit in the home. Kendra continued walking from the lobby to her car while Tracy began the proceedings um, by seeing Kendra off. She waved through the window as Kendra backed out of the parking lot and returned to the um, street turn off to get back onto the street. Tracy then proceeded back to her desk and began making phone calls to try to get a hold of somebody with the family to try to set up a meeting for the next time Kendra worked. We hope that you have enjoyed this presentation of the Cruiser Chris World Network. If you would like to find out more about what we are doing at the Cruiser Chris World Network, we would invite you to subscribe to the channel. And for those of you that have already subscribed, we are very thankful for your support. Please share these videos on your social media platforms to help us get more subscribers. Thank you. We hope you have enjoyed this presentation. This is part six of the Johnny Blaisdell story. We will be back next week to film part seven of the Johnny Blaisdell story. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at cruisercrisworldnetwork at gmail.com. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching today's presentation. Thank you and have a good day.